Mr. Laswell. He was also the principal of that school. He said one morning, in preschool assembly, he said, boys and girls, I have been watching you this entire semester as you would do the Pledge of Allegiance. And I hate to say this, but it seems to me that you have re come to regard this as a somewhat monotonous venture for you each morning. So if you don't mind, I've made a few notes and I would like to relate to you the meaning of our Pledge of Allegiance, if you would indulge me. I, myself, me, an individual, a single committee of one person, pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity allegiance, my love, my devotion to the flag our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom wherever she weighs, there is respect because your loyalty has given her a sense of dignity that shouts freedom to the entire world. United, meaning simply that we have all come together. States, states are individual communities that have been united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities, all of which have pride and dignity and purpose, and each is divided by an imaginary boundary, and yet we are all united to a common purpose, and that goal is love for our country. And to the Republic, Republic, an important word, Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern them. And government is the people, boys and girls. And it is from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation, blessed by God above all others. Indivisible, meaning incapable of being divided. With liberty, which is freedom, right of power to live one's life without threat or fear of retaliation, and justice. Justice is the principle of, or quality of dealing fairly with others. We're all, which means, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this country is as much yours as it will ever be mine. Now, from the first time I heard Mr. Skelton present that recitation on his Tuesday night TV program, there have been a couple of changes that were made that he made over the years. The first is that we have added two states to the 48, making us a total of 50, Alaska and Hawaii. And the second, two words were also added to the pledge itself. Those words are, under God, under God. Wouldn't it be a pity, wouldn't it be a profound pity if someone claimed that that constituted a prayer and made an effort to eliminate it from our schools? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand with me and recite our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wonderful. Thank you. Would you please remain standing now as we welcome to the stage Miss Mary Ellen Broom as she leads us in our national anthem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 